Hello everybody and welcome back to The Invincible. I don't know why I did the hand movements. Because it's fun. So, we are continuing on. We are in the camp with Yasma and actually we're just about to leave the camp. Uh, to, I believe, set placement for something called the Hopper. I think that is then going to ferry... Oh, I forgot his name. Uh, Ko Kovic? Oh, ferry him back to... That's the Dragonfly. And we've got to find the rest of the crew as well, which actually is the priority that we're doing now. So, let's get straight into it. Oh, <clears throat> we've got to read a bit. In one of the tents, Yasma finds Dr. Krauser, that's, that's, that's his name, who's in, deep, who's in a deep stupor. Using cable from Krauser's radio, she regains contact with Astrogator. I love, the, I love this kind of like comic strip. Um, feel about it. Oh, very good as well. Very detailed. Um, and also, this is based on the book as well by... I can't remember his name. Um, right, what am I doing? Find the rest of the crew. Okay, let's have a look at the journal. Uh, so I need to get to this spot here. Okay, so out and... Left. We've got an excavation site, and Gorski has gone off this way somewhere. So I would imagine we'll need to find him at some point. Oh. oh yeah, there's there's the robot. Yeah, he's a bit a bit buggered. Um, right, we'll just leave him in there for a bit. Right, let's see where we're going. We're actually facing the wrong way completely. And there we are. Okay, so we'll take this path. What's that? You're right. Ooh. Yes, now. Focus. What now? Okay, so we've got... Are those cameras or are they lights? They are... I don't know what they are. Oh, they are lights. Okay. Check the manual. Uh, the journal, rather. Okay. So that just, I assume... Comes up around there. What, what's this way, then? Not where we need to be for now. Okay, let's go. Oh, that. Ooh. Oh, what happened? Once more. Oh. Status. That piece of junk. <laughs> what happened? I did something. No, I didn't. I've gone over everything in that area. What happened? It blacked out again. There's a cap landing. Oh, I see what that is. Ah, right. So this is giving us an overview of where we are. And this is giving us a direct view. Right, that makes sense now. Okay. So I can run. Ooh. Mm. Yes. Deeper into the cave or not? Well, according to this, uh, not is the uh, option. This has been marked out. Let's have a look at it. Oh, it does seem to swing round. Oh, hang on. Ah. Oh, I wonder if we came round... I should move. Oh, there's no time. Okay. <laughs> You're telling me to get on with it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I found the area marked by Dr. Krauter. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground. A large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Oh, I think so. Air accessibility is paramount. Yes. It's relatively clean. You can send hopper, sir. Oh. Oh, hang on. Huh. It looks like the rocks at the landing area. The, the ones drawn by Krauter. But the doctor marked a waypoint. I don't recall... It's it's just a sketch. No markings. Well, if so, we should do it. What would you call them? Twins, bones... Oh, titans. I'll call them titans. Has a nice ring to it. Noted. One more thing, Astrogator. The titans are almost white. Unlike the environments around them. Yes, thank you. That's valuable information. Be useful in navigating. Yeah, that's a bit strange, isn't it? I wonder if 
the environment's just different around here, where it's... What the hell was that? Oh, it's a rock. <laughs> but that was a problem in the game. Um, am I staying here? No, apparently I'm going towards Gorski. There's something I need to do here, then. Oh. Am I missing something? I'm entering the research area. Ah. Clear for now. Tracker. Silent. Hmm. What's that though? By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That, I don't know, unfortunately. <laughs> hmm. It's here. Like... Oh. She... Oh, she interrupted her own dialogue. That's annoying. Got someone. I'm following the signal. Ah. Oh, strange. Oh, hang on. Can I, can I go down there? Oh, interesting. Hmm. That's cool. Oh, it's her breathing. I keep thinking that's a huh. it, a creature. Something on the ground. Ah, a journal. It's a journal. But whose journal? Skorsky's. Geological cross section measurements. These are Marit's notes. Ah. She must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. Right on. We must focus on both water chemistry test. Oh, water chemistry testing and geological drilling. Uh, interesting. Okay, what else have we got? Layers of sedimentary clay interspersed with blackish red substance. Not geological, not planetary. Millions of years old, at least. Oh. oh, was that? Oh, hang on, that was the, um, it's the metal structure. Weird. Civilization, maybe, at some point? Cool. Cosmo Solidary Alliance. <coughs> Interplanetary Commonwealth Headquarters. Space Division Solar System. Dear Dr. Merritt, this is in response to the latest interplanetary conference. We would like to offer you a promotion in the future expedition... Obelisk? Something? Russian? I don't know. As an astrogator. Your skills and overall performance in previous missions prove to us your readiness to take the next step in the space journey. We would be delighted to receive your response as soon as you're back from your current mission. Sincerely, Jen Prixard, Commanding Officer of Space Division. Hmm. Prixard, is it? Uh, not Picard. Um, okay, let's go back. Let's see if there's anything else here. Hmm. No. Okay. Uh, right, we still just... Oh, God. I fell. Go up and around here, it looks like. Yeah, okay. Oh, I don't know, maybe. Oh. Hmm. No, can't get up there. I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just ah. takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. So that's an automatic move, that is. Oh. Oh, here. So just keep <sighs> pressing forwards. Ah, backpack. The signal's coming from a castle of backpack. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. Shoot. Um. 
Okay, well, she's got to be around. Oh. She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Merit. Can I crouch? Merit. No. Merit, wake up. It's me. Yes, wake me. up. Do you hear me? Dr. Merit? No. Okay, no, I'm, not in, I'm not intervening. What's Proceed. going on? Two. One. Two. Three. Come on. Oh. Nothing. One. Two. Not giving up. Don't do this to me, Merit. Don't. Please. Breathe. Lift oh, up. Her mask is Merit. up. Oh no, what was that? Just... Of course. My eyes closing, I'm not blacking out. Everything will <sighs> be fine. All fine. She had her visor open. I wonder if she was exposed too long to whatever else is in this atmosphere, which yeah, is I think so. You should high be metal methane, if I remember. Do you think Kovl? Let's not assume the worst. You'll find it, Doctor. Alive. I'm sure about that. So to the excavation site, okay. Tracker. Someone's here. Okay, so that... This tracker is the backpack. Okay. Mary's backpack. But there's somebody... Something... Further up. Oh, I'm stuck. Hang on. Further up here. Can I get up here? Ah, hang on. Oh, I love these little sort of hidden sort of crevices and caves and what do you call those geysers? So there's water, but is it sustainable? Is it filtratable? Oh no. And oh yes, no, indeed. Yes, I can't get any closer. He's, he? he's, he's, he's also, he's Kovl. Not, he's not dead, is he? Don't do this to me. Oh. You're alive. Apparently. Did you hear that, sir? Kovl's alive. I didn't doubt it for a second, Doctor. What's his current state? Checking. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. Hmm. Oh, we're taking them. Kovl. Visor? No. Kovl. Probably not a good His idea. His eyes are so empty. Just like Crouch's. Kovl, what the hell is wrong with you? Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Crouch's? Hmm. He's calm. Karma. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to Kama, me, Kama, Kama, The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Kovl on board, I want you to do something. Yes. yes. I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. Um, well, it's... Oh, okay, it's in pieces. It's everywhere. In pieces. Ah, mm. not good. Koval was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Ah. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. Okay. I'll go over them. Oh, that's cool. But it may take a while. So, oh. I was going to read that. Huh. Have you found it? No, it's uh, nothing about Dr. Gorski. <laughs> See, I'm biologist, so I'd be naturally happy. Found them. Surprisingly accurate. He wrote down Gorski's every step. Great. Let's get Kovl to the evacuation area. Can you carry him, Doctor? <laughs> Won't be pretty hard in 1G. But the gravity here should make things a tad easier. Got him. Oh. Incoming. It's broken the atmosphere. 
Right, let's go. Can I... When you're there, put Dr. Cobble in the seat. And I'll connect to the Androbot through the Manda's antenna. Haven't you rebooted yet? No, not quite. Sparks, it will work now. The land is already descending. Oh, there it is. Damn. A bad feeling. It won't break into pieces, right? The descent is proceeding smoothly. Don't worry. Oh, I see. We can see the two titans now. Got Dr. Gorski's interest. Sorry. Breathe, Yasna. I don't know, somebody who's behind this. Mm. It's crazy how everything's falling apart here. I don't know. Maybe we're dealing with some kind of anomaly. An atmospheric or magnetic phenomenon. Uh, wouldn't something like that show on the charts? All those measurements Gorski took? I remember. Maybe he made a mistake. So there it is. Mm, it's a bit warm like. Very actually. Alright. Let's get Coval out of here. Where should I put you? Put you in there. Yeah, I'll take a seat, dude. There you go. Everything's fine. I missed a couple of things in this game, but hopefully they're not going to be too crucial. See you up there. Only Gorski's left. He might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. Um. We also don't know Gorski's condition, nor what he's going through. And what about Merritt? Merritt, even. Crouch is safe. Shouldn't I go back for Marit's body? No. No, there's no need. I just regained control of the Androbot, so please, leave it to me. You did everything you could for a doctor. Now, Dr. Gorski needs your help. Hmm. Huh. Interesting timing, that. Um. Well, at least he knows his safety procedures. He knows he's, he's not going anywhere. We just can't communicate um, with us, naturally. Okay. So we're leaving Merritt's body. That's a bit bad, isn't it? So I need to go this way. Yasna discovers that she is on a desolate planet called Reese 3. Wanting to learn more, she heads to a nearby camp of her crew. So these are just added bits. Managed to find scattered equipment, including a metal detector. That hard oh, shall be used. We've read that. Uh, so the camp. Here we go. Yasna manages to reach the camp, but encounters an unresponsive Androbot, which is now responsive. In one of the tents, Yasna finds Doctor Crowter, who who is in a deep stupor. Using cable from Crowter's radio, she regains contact with Astrogator Novik. He has to manages to locate a distant landmark near the landing area, <coughs> which we've now called Titans. He has to find Dr. Merritt, but it's too late to save her. But why do we leave her body there? Yasna he encounters another crew member, Koval. He's alive, though he exhibits symptoms of the same stupor as Dr. Crowter. He has to carries him to the Wanda. Let's find Gorski. Oh, I do like this bit. Have we got an inventory as well? No. Status? Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. Ah. There's a flag over there. It's 
one of those. If you haven't got a flag, you're not coming in. Oh. I'm leaving the excavation site. <sighs> How did he come down? Wait, can I go up here? No. Follow the flag, literally. <sighs> right. Okay, we're down. Almost. <clears throat> Still enjoying this game so far. We're getting right into it now. Signal. So soon? It's unlikely to be him. Then who? Uh, not who, but what? It's weird. Dr. Gorski hardly ever parted with it. With what? Ah, oh, you're talking about the teleprobe. Ah, uh -huh. yes. I located the probe. It's lying on the ground, inactive. Can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal. I'd say it's running in safe mode. Please try to power it on. Do we have time for this? It's for a good reason, Doctor. The probe could prove useful in the search. And besides, you'll see. Okay. That I will. Okay, uh, opening this. You. Okay. I'm opening the probe. Hmm. Uh, use. Oh. Turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold mm. it, and then turn the dial again. Oh. And go ahead. Oh, I see. Ah. Slide records. Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure, but as they say, extremis malice, extrema remedia. Let's take a look. Big button. Okay. That's the beginning of the mission. Um, search. Oh, nothing interesting. Should I be looking for a specific location? Date? The excavation site. Fourth day of the mission. Oh, I see we can go. Right. So that's a fish. Nah. We got a fish. <laughs> oh, hello. I, I recognize these structures. This is where they began to dig. Ah, okay. We need more info. Execution time. Twelve hours passed. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. The probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes, that's what I meant. What's next? Oh. Last slide. There's mostly noise. Nothing in particular stands out to you, Doctor. They were digging, and suddenly, poof, people are dead. No need to shout, Astrogator. I'm just letting you know what I see. That's all. Hmm. Uh, hang on. An I hate absurdly it when people high get like that. electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Oh. See, when you're trying to explain something as calmly as, as, and as nicely to people, they see that as a form of aggression. So then they get angry with you or annoyed, and it's like, well, I am only literally answering your question. But if you see that as offensive, then. I apologize. Which is a sign of weakness. Right, Ian. Still go. high in the slide just before and earlier. Quite normal. It happened in a matter of seconds. But there's. There's nothing except dunes. Sand, a few rocks, a shadow. Shadow? Another sandstorm, I guess. All right, Doctor. Let's move on. You may turn on the fuses now. Ah. We'll take the probe with us. Excellent. Now this is very Fallout 4-y. Fallout 3, because I've never played Fallout 4. Good. I've got it on my radar. Now I can give commands to the probe. And? What do you see? Is it working correctly? Is it damaged? 
It does seem a bit battered. It's not flying very smoothly. I guess it's still a bit broken. Meaning? How? Ooh, it moves only in a straight line. Just up and down, then sideways. No complex moves. Ah, don't worry about that. It's because I'm controlling it manually. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Oh. If it has to. <laughs> oh. If it's useful, then okay. You don't like machines, Yasna. I don't like being followed. One second. Oh, that's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. So, what's it going to be? Oh, uh... Why not? Uh... I pick a name, it's just an ID. Hey. Huh. A name for the teleprobe. All right. I can think of something. Shit, where is it? Oh, there. Copy that. I'm listening. B. Bally. Oh, Luna's quite nice. Um. Bali. <laughs> if anyone's seen Wally. B from Transformers. Um. Let's go. Please enter Bull E. Oh, B A L L dash E. Done. Now, a few more tweaks. And you'll have a flying measurement centre at your disposal. Can I get across? Oh, hang on. Ah, ah ha ha, right. All has to load in. Okay, come on, little probie. Crew members take a commemorative photo with a living aquatic organism. Before the radio contact disruption, the Commonwealth probe detected nothing strange except an unusually strong EM field. He has to restart the Commonwealth's probe, which from now on accompanies her in further journey. She also decides to give the device a new name. Onwards. <sighs> Hello. I don't see these metal structures anywhere. Ooh, detector. The detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going straight on. No crossroads, branches. Not yet. Just one thick, tangled vein. Nope. Huh. I guess I found the first point. You guess? We have to be sure, Doctor. Well, I'm at the first clear branching of these structures, such as reported mm. by Dr. Gorski. All right. What happened next? Ah, point one. He followed the branch to the right. Okay. Oh, point two. Another thing he reported was a massive vertical structure. Oh, okay, so that's another metal thing. Right, number one. The structures branch underground. G checks the right branch. Oh, Gorski checks the right branch. Yes, got you. Two. Massive vertical exhibit. It protrudes above the surface. Water tank underground structures. Uh, biggest one yet. Inside hill, 150 meters blacked. Was that miles? No, meters. Visible from point four, azimuth, uh, 350, distance 200. Okay, so you want me to go right. Oh God. Okay, how do I get the... Um... Ah. Oh, I see, so I can put those away if I want to. So he wants me to go this way. This way, I think. Hmm, no. Well, let's have a look anyway. Oh, there is a way to go. Right, didn't he? Um, Gorski. Ooh, you, you just want to go left, don't you? Let's just see the map again. I wonder if it all just. 
you know, joins up into one sort of bit. So you end up going on the same path anyway. Oh, that's good. You, oh, you can see the uh, status. What's new? Build up of conversation. Well, nothing really. Steam. At least not in the last five seconds, sir. Right. Thank you. Looks like there's something over there, but it's directing me this way. Mm, I hope this is going to be beneficial. Just a bit worried. That everything I do now within this game is, well, I think it might be choice based. Oh, there's lava there. Okay. Don't want to miss anything where possible. Okay, so I'm going to go this way, am I? Yes. What oh, a bit of a jump there. Hmm. The land is departing. Yes, they're on their way. Ah. Um. So RT has transported Dr. Crowther. Affirmative. He's in the lander. However, if the robot didn't find him in the tent. How's that? The doctor was already some distance from the camp. I think he was following you, Yasna. Sir, why didn't you say anything? The yeah. Anthropot located him quickly enough, and I thought it was pointless to worry her. Well, thank goodness he's safe now. One of you. And there are the two Titans there. So it is noted I haven't really used this. Oh. Well, there we go. Seems to be on. Oh, oh, okay. That's interesting. Ah, I've reached the top. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Kovel and Gorski. No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Yeah. Well, I, I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. I know I'm in a hurry, but I should check this place first. Oh. Sorry. Ah, flag. Wait. Koval noted down the parameters. Azimus 350. Distance 200 meters. I'm sending the probe. Wow. Oh. Black bushes. Got it. I see the bushes. And the doctor? Mm, hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Huh. It's going to be harder than before. There's the probe. I don't know how the doctor. <sighs> when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. You'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose a probe will carry out the first task. It's capable yet? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. There it is. Oh, there it is. Hi, Bully. Lead the way. I think what they should have done. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. Indeed. Hey, can it fly for this long? Yes. Longer than you can stand on your feet. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. No, mm. well, let's not exaggerate. No, that's no, not. It's a matter of time. Well, that's technically true. We've got AI robots out there. We've got 
some countries now like Japan and China designing real life almost like human featured AI systems you can actually have a conversation with them I don't know for me it's only a matter of time before machines surpass their creators the only question is when get the feeling she's not into machines or she doesn't like machines a bit worried them possible fear um, what was I going to say about the probe yeah they should have implemented a when naming it, like a, I guess we're going back to AI again, you know, you could call it whatever you want, but then that would be a problem because that would, the developers would have to add some sort of algorithm where you can't just put any old name in or type anything. Kind of counterproductive, really? Anyway. Okay. Let's go, Bawley. Alright, I'm with you. Probably. Um, hmm. Two bits here. Can I go? Here? No, I don't think I can. Hang on. Yes, I can. Can I get a view here? No. Okay. There were some lava flows down there. <sighs> this mission drags on so much. It's like I miss that. Never mind. Sometimes I think you're going to take off without me, sir. <laughs> don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. Hmm. Yes, okay, well. I'll have to see when the time comes. Mm, I feel this. The astrogator is. I, I feel he's. He's holding something back from us, potentially. Well, we'll have to find that out as we move on. Right, chasm. Okay. Oh. We have a problem. Something serious? Uh -huh. huh. Maybe it's true that machines will surpass us. But not today. The route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can oh. repeat the command. No, no. Oh. I'll go around. Uh, unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But uh -huh. the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? <laughs> Can you imagine us, protonaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? No, not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Oh, have you started to fear for your position? <coughs> Perhaps one day, discussion. My position is secure, yeah. Maybe they can be improved rapidly, but these are only selected modules. Algorithms. There's still a long way to go to develop an artificial brain that would even slightly reflect the complexity of the human one. Yes, we probably won't live to see that. Probably not. Besides, hmm. no intelligent machine would take this job. Shh, Astrogator. Can you hear that? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Oh. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, mm. I don't know. He must be a long way from here. It is beautiful, though. The ever-changing landscapes, geysers. Oh, we're here. Hello. These bushes are kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use the language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush-like formations. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. Interesting. 
Whoa. Oh, it's the uh, light coming in. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. Possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's your decision, sir. Mm, we have to go in. Please continue your search. We have to find him. I may not come back. Mm. That's the unwritten rule, isn't it? Under no circumstances do we leave anyone behind. <laughs> the line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. Ooh. Uh, I've got to go. I've got to get through them. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm moving. Can't see what's. Ah, uh, flashback. Oh, this comic um, entries as well. She felt that. Hopper has landed. I repeat, Hopper has landed. Yeah. Astrogator, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you. All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. I oh, thank God for that. Hopefully, the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. Ah, right, okay. Thank you. I'm going outside. Ooh. Visibility? 100%. The dust has already settled. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off, which wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication with Dragonfly. Hmm. That's not fully open, though. Sir, something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right. Oh. Uh, so I'm inside. And? How is it? Hmm. Uh... Yeah, not, um... For now, we have to assume that we are left with only one lander. Is it that bad? You don't need to be a technician to see that Beetle's lost its buzz. Uh, that's... unfortunate. I'm taking Hopper out of here. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. Think positive. We've gotten out of worse than this. Equipment breaks from time to time, that's normal. But now... Go ahead. What's bothering you? This lack of communication. It takes too long. Especially considering there's a cyberneticist amongst them. Yes. It worries me too. Ah. Right, what are they seeing down here? I'm running! Oops. I'm out of breath. Oh, is that ocean? Well, that's beautiful. Little swirl there. Very nice. Whoa. Damn. 
You were right, Cobble. It's beautiful here. That sun. Detail on that is amazing as well. So, I haven't checked my map. Site one and the camp is this way. Okay. So, we get to site one. Oh, breath again. I wonder if this is something to do with the altitude as well because you can get very out of breath the higher you go above sea level Ooh. zooming in oh, other way this is where they searched the ocean's biosynosis meaning oh where they caught that fish right mm, yeah they stopped here first then walked along the coastline northward correct but I think you might consider taking a shortcut towards the east, straight to the camp. Just right. Need to find the right route. So I don't I don't know if I can get down there. Ah, rope. I mean, it, it exists because I can't, I can't walk through it, so it's definitely there. Uh, which way do I go? I go this way. Trash. They stop for a break. How do you know? Are there any signs of the crew? I found a cigarette bud and a pack. Someone was smoking here. So they didn't give a damn about the regulations. Disrupting the ecosystem. No, that's not the point. I understand you want to minimize the effects of our interference here, Doctor, but the mission's safety is at stake. I don't think I have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Preserving the integrity of Regis III's already extinct ecosystem is not a priority in this scenario. Negligible, actually. Wow. Well, both sides are important. Security procedures exist for humans. The rule of integrity is for the sake of everything alien to us. We shouldn't place one above the other. What are you saying, Yasna? The mission and the safety of our people have the highest priority. Always. <laughs> Always? <laughs> are we really that self-righteous? Of course, Doctor. We must be the most important to ourselves. And they must be the most important to themselves. Whoever they will be. In the end, the strongest will survive. Isn't that how evolution works? Not in a biological sense, Astrogator. Besides, I'm not convinced if we should interfere with everything alien to us just because we can. Doctor, interference is at the heart of human nature. Man would still be a monkey if he'd only looked at trees instead of cutting them down. Yes, we have a nasty nature. I can't argue with that. Oh, I can't see. Ah. Okay, so well, this is the direct route. I'll go this way. It's again, it might all link up. Oh, I can go this way. Good audio again. Moving across can different you surfaces. Can confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm. This rate will reach the camp within an hour. Awesome. Well, I picked up a cigarette pack with a single smoke inside it, so... If I get hungry... I assume that just connects. Yes, it does. Okay. Love how you can. And I mentioned this in the previous video. 
convenient passage. Footprints, handprints. Please speed ahead. We still have a long way to go. Well then, you should save your breath, Astrogator. Oh. What a feature. Ah. It looks as if this might have connected, so there might have been a bit of a shortcut going that way. Interesting. Well, we need to go this way. Ah. Hang on. We've got these structures again what here. What is this? Astrogator, I found a peculiar inorganic structure. It looks like some spiky metal growths. Artificial plant? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? Oh, I've never seen anything like this. I wish I had time to run some tests. When the situation is... Oh. Oh. I feel nauseous. Suddenly... I have no control. <laughs> except for the mouse. That's not it. I feel. Can I move? Oh, Darkness. I can move. Uh, hang on. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Heavy heartbeat. Another comic book entry. And another. Continue your search for Gorski. Ah. Oh, there's the probe. It's saved. So what I'm going to do is um, it might have to go through this little section again, but let's find let's find the bits. Uh, this is new. Astrogator Novik decides to send Dr. Yasna to the planet's surface in order to find the crew. While looking for uh, companions, Yasna comes across metal bushes and she's suddenly paralysed by a terrible headache. Dazed, she stumbles and falls off a cliff. Ah, last man. The lander returns to the Dragonfly with Artie and secured crew members on board. Yasna talks to Novik about the future of cybernetics. She appreciates the development of autonomous systems, but she also notices its flaws and limitations. According to her, robots are simply tools in the hands of humans. Yasna doesn't find Dr. Gorski in his last known position. To continue the search, she enters the area with limited radio coverage. Yasna calls what she saw at familiar metal bushes before, at the very beginning of the mission, just before the accident and her memory loss. Ah. So I'm wondering then if those bushes have got something to do with uh, Yasna's blackouts whether they're giving off some sort of anomaly or strange readings or radiation perhaps that might have also been affecting the other crew members including Gorski um, less or so the astrogator who is on board the dragonfly in space but I'm going to leave this uh, particular video and episode here let me know in the comments below if you are still enjoying uh, the series first video is out um, so yeah yes remember to like subscribe comment share it share the videos where possible and um yeah that's it so thank you past present and future watchers for watching cheerio <laughs>